What's up, YouTube? Hope you've been out there building shit. So last month, you watched me go and pick up this 1950 Ford to start building our first rat rod. If not, go back and check out that video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I took this 70-year-old body off this truck chassis. Figure if anything goes wrong, I'll definitely want it on video. much better position for me to get into my little building and grab tools and get out of the rain sometimes. It's lubed up for when we come out to take it apart. Look at that beautiful old freight liner. Mm -mm -mm. Same thing. Got those screws. Drop that little piece down. So there's the first one. There's a nut, and then that washer thing. And then another nut. Yeah, it is on that side. I win. I get the one from up under there. We gotta hold this one too. Like this size, just a rusty, nasty mess. So I think I'm gonna give it the hot knife. Now these floor ones, I tried loosening that one over there, and I was very unsuccessful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try to plasma cut right down in the middle. And I just gotta widen that out and kind of maybe a little deeper towards the middle and eventually it'll get to a point that you can stick something in that middle and just kind of whack it and the bolt falls off and you're left with this uh, big head up here and you didn't really damage the hole that much for a whack that part stays up that part falls down there she's smoking that ain't the only burning rubber this truck's gonna see guys damage on the cab floor on this side but got it cut got it dropped out the last ones from the cab are these guys i got that wedged up in there that thing on there and it just about fell off missed filming it though this side was giving me all kinds of problems my impact went dead so i put the old muscles on it and i didn't know my own strength it's definitely had a a little too much weight in it at one point. Sometimes a busted bolt is better than it coming out because it's just over and done with. I gotta get these undone. Do something with the steering column. Undo it here and slide it up. Not loose. Take the bolt out. And then uh, the pedals. And if you're a purist, go ahead and turn away. But I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those off. <laughs> Cut off wheels, try to start scoring it a little bit and then get a little deeper, a little deeper. Don't just plunge right in. Makes your discs last longer and they don't break off as easy. Also, when you're setting your tool down, you're supposed to set it on its uh, back. I'm not the best at doing that though. <laughs> and stuff all detached it's now coming from the inside we've got those that I 
can weld to something in the future. And then looking at this stuff, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. I'm going to cut this off, lift this pan up and over this one. And then I'm going to take a look at this e-brake setup and see if maybe I can salvage it without cutting it. Give that a whack. And then we whacked on this for a minute. Sorry, purists. Now I got a shifter that I can weld to whatever. So I got all that stuff loose. And I've stood up in here and I've pulled and I've twisted and I've pulled some more. I don't know, I'm getting close to just cutting it. Try a few love taps. It's annoyed me to the point, I'm just cutting it. Get this garbage out of the truck. I found save your knuckles grab it instead of uh, pushing and then when this comes free your hand goes flying into whatever there you go. so that was that first piece and it looks like I'm gonna want this whole bracket save that <laughs> also got this mount on this side is broken off so on this side I'm gonna go from underneath the fender and cut it right up to this line most of that's pretty rotted anyways <laughs> they're coming out the hard way I'm gonna get this side's bolts out it's best if you can cut in from the side but if you can't cut across maybe a couple different directions and you just whack it with a hammer and it'll break. I've climbed in and I've climbed out on over this side reached in from here and under here too gotten up under here and up under here up under the other side I've gone to get a tool or two and my grinder too Choppy wants to say hi too, guys. Suggesting something I just noticed instead of setting it on the sheet metal throw a block underneath your core support there and it'll support it a little better and uh, you won't end up bending the bottom guys a place to sit knew this hood would come in handy look at that nice flat shelf
Got all the body work off to remove the running boards. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the mounts on the frame and make my own mounts to the new truck. My hope is that these don't start us spinning on me and I can back the nuts off the other side. Well, let's give it a shot. If you don't know about the Jolly Green Giant behind me. She's a 76 Freightliner White with a Cummins in her 13 speed. And she's a rollback truck. Pretty neat. Yep, they went to spinning on top like I thought they would. Might be uncooperative. We'll use the cut, slice, pick, pry, and pound method. I usually got kind of crisscross. And uh, try to hit about where the shank of the bolt goes on the other side of the head. Try not to get too much into your metal around it. This is a screwdriver. Get down under the edges. Kind of pick it out to where. Breaking away the edges there of that bolt. I use this. Put it on there. And I just whack it with a hammer and pop them out. One. That's one running board. About this side's all crossed up. Now, time to pick and pound. <laughs> This truck is the front bumper so I cut it up here I cut it down there I cut it over here I cut it over there now our bumpers falling off of there hit like before you take off helps me beat the evil algorithms I'm just kind of a small youtuber trying to grow hit subscribe if you want to see more truck content you want to see us uh, turn this into a rat rod using this 85 f350 chassis with a 6.9 IDI diesel